Okay, you guys, story time with this hair. So this cute client had been dark, level five permanent color for a while. She decided she wanted to start going a little bit lighter. We started the process with TZ lights and then in between she cheated on me and went to someone else. And this is what her hair looked like when she came back to me. So it's a little bit of red, yellow banding. It's kind of a hot mess. So today we are going to be evening out this canvas and trying to get her a little bit lighter. Her eventual, eventual goal is a rooted bright blonde. I did did tell her it could take four to five times. I'm not sure how her hair is going to lift, especially because I'm not sure what was done to achieve this color, but there is a lot of red in there and she knows that it could be a process. So we are just doing a full head of baby lights. I am doing baby lights because they are a lot smaller and finer sections tend to lift better and more evenly. So this is the way that I like to achieve a lighter appearance overall, even when it comes to color corrections. I don't necessarily want to do an all over lightener or a color remover because I'm not sure what it would do and it looks like that's what was done previously and that's why we have all that uneven lift. So we are doing the highlights and seeing what we get today. Oh my baby, got me staring at you, so I'm crazy, Watch you bend that back for me? We won't stop, got your feet both locked. Okay, so for this process, I am going to be using the Fanola No Yellow Lightener. This is a powder lightener. It has up to nine levels of lift. And then I'm also going to be using the clay lightener, and we're going to be painting all of the dropouts. That way, every single piece of hair is touched, and we're going to try to bump out as much of the red as possible. We're also going through between the foils and doing a root color. We want to freshen up her base and disconnect that yellow root and kind of blend it in a little better. So my assistant is going through. We are doing Shades EQ. We are doing a 6N and a 6NB. This is just going to warm her root up a little bit. We can't put any ashes on the root because it did lift so yellow compared to the rest of her hair. And she does want a little more depth in the root as well. So we are doing that paint between and then we are going to tease out the ends. Get to flock with me. I can take you down for we are using that Fanola No Yellow Clay Lightener with 30 volume. We used 20 in the foils. My assistant is just painting out these ends. We're trying to kick out some of that brass like I had mentioned before, and I want to make sure that we can do as much as possible but without damaging our hair a whole ton, which is why I didn't want to do all of her lightener or anything like that. I have a little more control over foils because we can watch how it lifts, and then the clay lightener is a little more gentle, which is why I'm using a higher volume with it. So as you can see here, we're just tag teaming. I get a lot of questions about what I have my assistants do and this is actually a great example of it so while I am highlighting I have her go through do the root paint between or do the teased out ends sometimes I'll have her tone at the bowl and then she usually blow dries and styles for me um, she always uh, checks my clients out at the end and also takes pictures of them she is amazing at her job and I would die without an assistant <laughs> We are using Fremar foils here. You guys know that I love these foils so much. And I am just doing a pretty tightly packed highlight. As you can see, I did some slicing around the front of her face as well. That is just to give her a brighter appearance around the front. I did really, really tiny slices because I wasn't sure how it was going to lift. And then I led back into baby lights to match the rest of her hair. I am going on an angle because I like to follow the shape of the head. I have a few different go-to highlighting patterns that I've been using lately. I know that you guys have seen some some of them but I've been thinking about doing a video showcasing my three favorite highlighting patterns so tell me if that's something you guys would be interested in This is what it looks like once her color is all done. We have the root color sitting, the foils processing, and then those ends sitting in the clay lightener. And now it is time to rinse and tone. She sat in those foils for about 45 minutes and now we are at the bowl. As you can see, she lifted a lot brighter up towards the top and her ends are still a little bit orange. You can also see that she still has patches of yellow in the root area. Some of those pieces didn't take the root color quite as well as I wanted to. So we are now going through and doing a root smudge just to kind of blend everything together even more and try to counteract some of that yellow. So what I am doing right here is a 5N 
7V7NB. And the reason I'm doing this is because that V is going to help counteract some of that yellow. I know that it seems kind of an odd choice for the root and I never usually use V on there, but if I were just to try to cover that up kind of like I did in between the foils, the yellow wouldn't be counteracted as much as I wanted it to be. So I added a V in there to help counteract some of that yellow. And then the N and the NB is the tone that I'm really going for. So I am just smudging this down a little bit. I'm going about two inches down and then a little higher up around the face. I'm using the Goldwell Mini brush which is my favorite for at the bowl because it's tiny and you can do kind of like a precision application because you do have a lot of um, control with it because it is so small so I'm just working my way up doing this and then we're going to tone her ends On the face I'm just doing a small little tap I want to diffuse this a little bit so that those many pieces blend in and it looks natural but I don't want to bring that down too far where the many pieces cease to exist so as you can see here I leave it for last and just tap and then I will comb through so it all blends nicely we are going to let this process about 15 minutes and then we are going to tackle those ends all right, you guys, I don't know what happened, but I lost the footage of us toning the ends, but basically I used a 9P, 8V, 8N, 7P, and then like a tiny bit of 8GN just to counteract some of the red, and it turned out so beautiful. Look at this blend. The root color is perfect. The ends are perfect. It's like a nice beigey blonde, a little bit caramel where it was red, and then there's also some brighter pops throughout where her hair lifted really well. This is way better than I was anticipating for a color correction, and she was so happy with it. I was so happy with it, and I can't wait to see the lift we get when we continue this process because so far, so good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know how you would have handled this color correction for yourself, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day, you guys, and thanks for watching. Watch your bend that back for me. We won't stop. Got your feet both locked.